So I do get a lot of questions about, hey, Brandon, can I actually use a search sort of mechanism in EditorX? And the answer is yes, it has one built in. It's kind of hidden, but it is in here. And just to showcase to everybody where it is, let's take a look. So I go to my add elements. All I'm going to go ahead and do is go to menu and search. And right here under search, there is site search. And literally all I have to do is just add this to site. It does take a little bit to basically add the components necessary to the site, but take a look at this. I'm going to click this. It's preparing your layout. It's going to add our search bar and it's going to add a couple other back end elements as well. So it's going to, as you guys see, it's kind of happening all in the back end. Let's close this out. We have a search bar. We have a mini search bar that is in our menu automatically. And basically this is what is created it is almost a search results page. Let's actually open up our pages here. By default, if I actually control Z this entire thing, the only page I would have is home. But by clicking, adding a search box to my website, it automatically creates for me a search results page with a default design that I can customize. But more importantly, I get my search bar and I get my search results page, which of course can be customized based on what you actually want to have there. This is all um, fake content. <laughs> so basically it says go to your published site to see the real search results. So if we actually, uh, not in the preview, but if we actually publish this, those search results would not be there. This is essentially just saying, hey, once you have built search results, this is how they would look inside of your search results page but you can essentially click on this go to settings and edit the display the layout the design of how the search results is basically looking so in short that is where you can find the search results use it in editorx and if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on really how to utilize search or how to you know uh dive into the settings of the search results please let me know. Let me know in the comments. It is pretty easy. Um, but other than that, yeah, you just got to use these settings. Just dive in. Um, in design, they have the search bar, the results menu, uh, the results, the search results, the button uh, design, the layout. You can have, obviously, left, center, or right aligned number of results per page. Display, You want? do we want to show the search bar? Uh, the placeholder in the actual search bar, which is search. We can change that. We can enable to have it in all tabs and some other things as well. So that's pretty a generic tutorial. I just got a lot of questions on Brandon. Hey, where's the search bar at? <laughs> Here it is, my friends. So if you like this video, please like it. And if you also want to learn a little bit more about EditorX, don't forget to subscribe and check out all of the cool EditorX tutorials that we have for you. We have, again, if you want to join our Discord, you can find the links for that down below. And we have weekly EditorX live sessions within our Discord. If you guys want to come join hundreds of creatives like yourselves to learn some really cool things about EditorX and uh, just up your game in the no code space and build the beautiful things that you have in your design programs and not need a developer, come join our Discord, make some cool things with us, and remember, all the events that we have are announced in our Discord, so you probably want to join anyway. All right, have a great day.